WrestleMania Saturday just wrapped up. Me and you are sitting down to talk about our initial reactions to WrestleMania Saturday. Stay tuned. I don't know. That was... That's what we do. That's us. Welcome back to WrestlePool. He's Hozier. I'm Bear. Excited to be here and chat with you guys about our initial reactions to WrestleMania Saturday. And, uh, wow. Wow. Holy sugar honey iced tea, Bear. Okay? I have been waiting all night for this moment to use holy sugar honey iced tea about WrestleMania Saturday night. Before we get to anything else, can I just say how happy Titus O'Neil makes me? He's incredible. He is. What he does for WWE is amazing. When he shows up on TV, it's always awesome. He didn't fall under the ring this time. He didn't fall under the ring. But he gave us holy sugar honey iced tea. He gave us holy sugar honey iced tea. And that's my exact explanation for what went on tonight. Holy sugar honey iced tea. Amazing. Yeah, and it was. It was absolutely incredible. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to go. I'm going to put it to you first. Um, We're going to talk about our just overall reaction to night one, Saturday, WrestleMania Saturday. Um, go through, you know, we could talk about the whole day, stand and deliver. We started at one o'clock this afternoon with stand we did. and deliver. We, we started early. We watched a lot of wrestling We did, today. we watched. And even in between the wrestling events, we watched a lot of wrestling. Yes, you, you gotta, like, you gotta Yeah, you have to get in the mood. So, I agree. Um, I'm gonna put it to you, talk to me about your whole, everything, WrestleMania Saturday, your overall uh, feeling about it, reaction to everything that happened today. WrestleMania Saturday night was better than Stand and Deliver. I can officially say that um, because we were talking about that earlier. You were like, well, I don't know. And we have a history. There's a history of NXT over-delivering and um, over-performing WrestleMania, but definitely not tonight. Um, And I thought NXT was outstanding. Mm -hmm. Um, Some of it I do have to go back and rewatch because, quick little story, I was on the couch with two dogs, and I was very comfortable, and I may have taken a nap during a match and a half. So I definitely have to watch some of it. But NXT was good, but WrestleMania Saturday night, holy God. Yeah. Besides the first match, which we'll get into individual matches, from the first match on, it just felt like, to, to quote Sheamus, banger after banger after banger, and it just hit crescendo to the top, and it never stopped until Sammy and KO won the tag titles, and then you finally felt like you hit your peak because it just kept building every match from there was just mm-hmm. going up and up and up from the entrances to the music yep. to the feeling to as LA started to get into sunset and the stadium started to illuminate with the crowd and the lights and everything else. Um, it was a fantastic Saturday night to watch wrestling. I couldn't agree more. It was, I thought Stand and Deliver was incredible. Um, Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes put on an incredible match and all of the matches were great. Um, Wesley retaining the North American Championship in a fatal five-way. Again, incredible match. The women's ladder match. Indy Hartwell. So excited for Indy Hartwell. I've been a big fan of her for a while now. So, um, But getting to Saturday night, WrestleMania Saturday, I'm with you 100%. It started – I think we had this conversation before, before everything started today about um, – about the card tonight and I was like there's nothing that I'm that there's no match that I'm like this isn't going to be a good match yeah Wrestlemania night two is going to have a different story yes but tonight I looked at we looked at every match we went I think this should be a great match and I honestly think that every match either delivered spot on to what we thought it was going to be or over delivered and just was was incredible I I don't think that there is an argument that can be made that in the last this this is probably in my opinion i mean it's definitely since they've been doing the two nights of wrestlemania my opinion of the best night one oh yeah in the past since 100%. They've been doing that if wrestlemania ended here i'd be perfectly fine i'd be happy yep so i, I completely agree i'm gonna say that with that being said in the past five years pandemic included and this is probably the best wrestlemania yes by you 100%. know in the best five in the yep. past five years so i totally love night one so um with that being said let's start let's go match by match for saturday night we can do an nxt stand and deliver we'll maybe do another 
episode with that. But let's go match by match just for WrestleMania Saturday night. Let's look at them. Let's talk about, you know, just our straight reactions to the match. What is that? So I'll go to you first. Uh, United States Championship, Austin Theory champion versus John Cena challenger. It was a part-time John Cena type match. Yep. few minutes, not long at all. All the hope spots that Cena normally gets. And then Austin Theory does what heel Austin Theory would do. Um, low blow into his A-Town down, and he gets the win. Um, and it was an okay match. I mean, it's always good to have John Cena start off a WrestleMania. It's good to hear the music. It's He was definitely gassed running down. And as he was running down, I'm like, John, don't run. John, don't run. <laughs> okay? you you got to wrestle now. Um but after that, he was—you—you you could tell he—he was—he was sucking wind early in that match. Yeah, and it, it was an okay match. I mean, there's really not much more you could say. No, I think it was—I think it was the exact match that I thought it was going yes. to be. It was—I had—I walked into it going, "This is going to be a John Cena match. It's going to be good. There's not going to be—I'm not going to walk away from this match going, oh my goodness.' But I'm also not going. I don't—I'm not necessarily unhappy with the match. It was. It was what it should deliver. It was exactly what it should be. I'm. I think that the match. I was surprised. I honestly thought that that Cena would win. Me too. Um. So that was a little bit of a twist there for me, which was which was made it interesting. I'm really excited that they had the courage to keep the title on Theory and not be like, all right, let's give it to Cena because he's Cena. And so, but overall, I would say it was. It was a good match. It was just, it's exactly what we expected yeah. it to be. I wanted Cena to win, to go into Monday Night Raw, to have somebody come through that curtain that's new, or a call up from NXT and kind of yep. beat John Cena to kick off the new wrestling year, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, they had the courage to keep it on Theory. Theory gets a dream win, because yep. that was his idol growing up. Yep. I mean, he said that in interviews this week. Um, to have that key win for him just keeps him on that upward trajectory. Absolutely. Um, to the t to the big titles. To the big titles. In which, the future. And yeah, one hundred percent. I think Theory's got a bright future. It's and I'm I'm and I'm cool with him just keeping this US title for a long time and keep letting him be heel theory. Put him in but the one thing that was interesting, we talked about this I think in in this match. This was the mo one match of the night that didn't have that big fight feel. No going it did into not. it. I agree. So I would have preferred that. And I would like to see Theory get into matches where those matches have that big fight feel. But yeah. awesome. Okay, match one. We're done That's with it. that. Yeah. That's it. Let's go to the second match of the night. And we are looking at the WrestleMania Showcase match. This is the Fatal 4-Way Tag Match. Uh, so we have the Street Profits, the Viking Raiders, Experience, all the names in the world. Dot com. Dot com. Uh, we have Alpha Academy. And we have Ricochet, uh, and, Ricochet Braun. and Braun Strowman. I'm blanking on it. That's fine. It doesn't matter. This is okay. Anyway, Ricochet and Braun Strowman. Um, real, going into this match, I, I was expecting it. I actually wasn't expecting this match to be what it turned out to be. During the match, I said, and I, or right after the match, I said to you, I was like, that's the new money in the bank at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's a great match. For just to get a bunch of the guys onto the show, um, let them and let them just have a fun match and like it's a it's a gimmick type match. It's not the the ladders and everything. So, but we got all the all the spots out of the yeah. out of it that we would get in the ladder match. So, just a really good fun, engaging match to watch and to to kind of you know to to see. Street Profits getting the win. Thought that as soon as they came out, I was like, we were like, Street Profits over. Yup. So absolutely love, um, love. I loved it. I thought it was a great match overall. I thought that it was a fun match to have on the card. And yeah, yeah. I'm continued to be amazed by the athleticism of the Viking Raiders. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They can move. Yeah. Okay. Now we know Montez can fly. Mm -hmm. We know Ricochet. He did a shooting star something off the top yeah. rope. Michael Cole said it during the broadcast. He paused in midair. Like, you see him do that a lot. Like, he's upside down. He's just like, all right, everyone freeze. This is me, and you must wonder how I got there, right? <laughs> you ever see those videos? Yeah. Um, and, man, can Chad Gable wrestle. That that wow. spot with Braun Strowman where he, he deadlifted him yep. up into, like, the German suplex mm -hmm. or whatnot. 
um, it was really fun. Yeah. It was fun. I'm happy that the Street Profits got the win. Mm -hmm. That's who I wanted to win. Um, before every match, we asked each other who was going to win, and we kind of gave our predictions as the night was going on. We both yeah. got this one right. Yeah. Um, but just amazed at the athleticism. Yeah, Viking Raiders are incredible. All, and all four teams, the athleticism, and, and that was, I think that's one of the best things about this match, honestly, is it was just a chance for... It was a showcase. For all eight of these of these athletes to put their skills on, yeah. like, yep. on... on the map so great match absolutely loved it i'm gonna let you take the third match because i don't remember what it was it was definitely the six woman tag oh yeah becky lead and trish versus damage control this was an okay match yeah it was fun um you know it's always good to see lita and trish and and i have been on the record as i'm saying nostalgia sucks and i'm gonna stick with that um i hate to see People come back for a WrestleMania run who are not going to be there throughout the year when you could have had a women's tag title match yeah. mean something for the women division, that, that the year-round women division. Right. Um, I understand you want the big names and you have to find spots, and Hunter doesn't bring in as many outsiders right. as what Vince used to do. Yeah. But opportunity missed for Bailey to have a big profile singles match and then also to have a women's tag title match. Um, yeah. at, but as far as the match goes, it was, it was good. It was yeah. fun to see Lita and Trish do their things, hit their spots, hit their finishers. Um, but overall, I would have gone in a different direction with these six women. Yeah. Okay. I would have done Bailey versus Trish or Bailey versus Lita. Yeah. Okay. And I would have done the tag team title match at, um, sure. at Mania. A right. little bit more of a build for the four because that happened like a two week stretch. Yeah. Okay. Becky came down. Oh, here's Lita. We're going to challenge next week. We're going to win the belts. And then now it's about a six-woman tag. So yeah. I would have done it a little bit differently. If you want to put the belts on Becky and Lita, cool. I don't agree. Right. But you know what? This is what we got. This is what we got. I think, yeah, I thought it was a good match. I, I mean, listen, you can't deny um, the skills and the ability of any of the women in this match. I think it was it, – it was – it was what I expected it to be. Yeah. Um, a feel-good match at the end of the day. And uh, Becky, Lita, and Trish get the win. And overall, yeah, I um, uh, tonight it was kind of the match that, and I again, I said this before, but it was kind of the match that I cared the least about. Yes. I had no investment in it. I feel like every other match tonight had so much investment from the fans um, because of the stories that they've been telling and how long they've been going on, and yeah. you know, so it's just one of those things where it, it's uh, there wasn't I didn't have that investment in it, and so for me, I was like, it was a good match, but it wasn't anything necessarily um, necessarily great. So overall, you know, it adds to the show, it gets them on the show. I get to see Becky and Bailey and uh, EO Sky and Dakota Kai, Trish and Lita, who aren't going to be there for very long, but I get to see them, and that, at the end of the day, it's good. It's so, good. That's that. All right, let's move to... Uh, the next one would be Seth versus Logan. That's Yep, that's where I was going. Seth versus Logan Paul, and here's the deal, okay? And I said this to you. After this match, nobody can question... Or making an argument against Logan Paul for what he is doing in the WWE, he is he belongs there. Oh, hundred percent. He belongs in a wrestling ring. He belongs in the WWE. Uh, he belongs at WrestleMania. What a match that these two put on. Yeah. And I know the arguments that people are going to make. Oh, well, he he gets to. He's been trained, he, you know, uh, he trained with HBK. How do you train with HBK for your first three matches and him not be good? Or he's in there with he's in there with the likes of The Miz at SummerSlam, Dominic and Ray last year at WrestleMania, The Miz at SummerSlam, Roman at Crown Jewel, and now Seth at WrestleMania. Okay, yeah, they could all carry him, but guess what? They're not. Logan is holding his own in that yeah, ring. Yeah, 100%. With, with these. 100%. So... Match was incredible. Logan Paul deserves 
all the respect and all the credit for the work that he's putting in. Sign him some, I don't give him whatever amount of money he wants, sign him to a multi year deal. I just want more Logan Paul in a WWE yeah. ring at this point. Yeah, I, I have to agree with everything you just said. Um, if you don't believe in Logan Paul, then I don't know what you're watching. Um, but he is a sports entertainer. He is a professional wrestler. Mm -hmm. um, and if you were to believe what he says, that he doesn't practice and he has God's gift to go into the ring and perform at this high level. Um, and it was nice to have the prime guy there. Yeah. Um, to have KSI yeah. there take that big splash off the top rope, which yep. was cool. Um, I thought that was the match of the night at that point. I was like, wow, it's going to be very, very hard to top that. Just everything. The entrances, Logan Paul with his Shawn Michaels-esque. Mm -hmm. um, the orchestra coming. Everyone's 80,497 singing Seth Rollins theme music into a hellacious. It was a brutal match. Like, it was a slobber knocker, to quote JR. Like, it they was. went at each other hardcore. It reminded me a little bit of Osprey and Kenny at Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, they really went at each other. Um, it was great. And, and it's up there four and a half five stars i mean it should get a very good rating unless people hate on logan paul we are not logan paul haters. we are not logan paul we haters. Uh, we saw logan paul last year at Mania. we were like oh yeah he knows what he's doing um it, it was phenomenal he's put in the work yeah. you can tell i like he can say what he wants and i also love heel logan paul i think he's so he's good very at good it. at it yes people just want to hate him because yep. of who he is which is fine mm -hmm. lean into it and he is um and he can say that, oh, I don't practice. It's just, but you can tell that he's putting the work in. Yeah. And I don't care that he has the money to literally put a wrestling ring in his which garage, he has. which he has. Great. Because if he's putting in the work to show up the way that he's showing up, yeah. I just want to keep watching matches. Absolutely. So, next match would be... Father versus son. Ooh, I'm going to let you go. Okay. I thoroughly... In First of all, let's start with the entrances. The ex-con Dom entrance was, was 10 star. Okay, that was absolutely phenomenal. Okay, going into it, I thought Dom was going to do the Eddie car, and he was going to do the shimmy in the back of the low rider. Um, but in fact, it ended up being Ray yep. coming in with with S N O P, big old Snoop Dogg coming in, and uh, the entrances were fantastic. Yes. And, and again, this has been building since September. Yep. So this had everything you wanted: the family dynamic. The, the true bad blood, like you could tell Dom really wanted to hurt his father. Yeah. Um, and the build was worth the match, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, going six, seven, eight months to get mm -hmm. to this point, Ray refusing and refusing and refusing, and then finally tonight he gets to win. I wanted Dom to win, um, but I can understand why Ray won. Yeah. Hall of, Fla Hall of Flame. Hall of Flame? He's the Hall of Flame. Um, the Hall of Fame last night. And getting the win tonight just kind of encapsulates and, and caps off a beautiful weekend for him. Yeah. But for me, going forward, I would love to see Dom get that massive victory versus his dad. But maybe that'll come later on because I'm yeah. sure that this is not done just yet. But I love the match. Not as good as Seth Logan, but no. up there yeah. um, in terms of build and the delivering on a story, um, it was very well done. Oh, 100%. And... I Dominic Mysterio is another one that everybody needs to stop. Pay him some respect. Like, put some respect on his Seriously. Name. Dominic Mysterio, okay, number one, every, and he said this in interviews, which is everybody's hating on him because he's leaning into the Eddie. Yeah. And they're like, you're not Eddie. You'll never be as good as Eddie. I don't think that's to be – I'm not saying that he will be as good as Eddie, that he'll be better than Eddie or Ray. We don't know that yet. He's 25 years old. Yeah. But here's the thing. He's leaning into that, which is just making them hate him more. And I'm just like, that is how you do this. Like, ta like at the end of the day, if it's all about getting some sort of emotion, he's doing it beautifully. The entrance, loved it. It's beautiful. I, I love the whole ex-con Dom thing and him serving hard times when it was three hours in a <laughs> holding tank. Like, I love leaning into that. I love everything. Ray's entrance was amazing, paying paying homage to Eddie and then the Latino World Order, all of that. Um, it, it really was. The match itself was exactly, again, it's, it's what I wanted it to be. 
Mm -hmm. And it just delivered perfectly. I wanted Ray to beat his ass. Ray beat him. And and there were and there were just there were great moments in the match. And again, like this is I don't think this is the coming out party for Dom. This is, wasn't meant to be Dom's stepping out of his father's shadow. Yeah. That's going to come when Dom A beats Ray, but also leaves the judgment day. Like I think when that whole thing ends and they all all four of them go their separate ways and Dom is truly a singles competitor. He'll he'll beat Ray, hopefully for Ray's career. Well, I mean, we don't want Ray to go away, but and that will be the end of you know that will be Dom's true like launching point. This is he's still got a lot to learn. He's still doing a lot of things. He, I think he look. I love Dom in the ring. I love what he's doing as a heel. I love and the he, heat he gets as oh, a heel is some of the best in WWE right now. It's incredible. It's incredible, and it's all because he knows that people. Like his, he looks like Eddie right now. He does. He's got the hair grown yep. out like Eddie. He like he looks like Eddie, and he's doing it because he knows people will hate him for it because of how much we love Eddie. So at the end of the day, yeah. he's doing an incredible job. Love the match. I thought it was great. Um, I don't think it was as good as Logan Paul and Seth either, but I think it was up there. It was. Um, it delivered on the story. A hundred percent. I think it definitely did a great job. delivered on the story. Okay, so after that would be so after that we then got to the women's the, yes. right the women's the, championship. Uh, yep, Charlotte Rhea. So after that we did uh, after that we do SmackDown Women's Championship Charlotte and Rhea Ripley. Um, I know we, I'm going to let you say it because I know what you said to me right after that match, but what a match! They put on a clinic. They did a great job. Charlotte and Rhea went out there and showed why Charlotte's been Charlotte for the past, what, decade now? And why Rhea is the next decade. Like, in my opinion, yeah. 100%. I can't wait till we start getting to Rhea and Bianca and letting those two be the pillars of the women's division moving forward. It's going to be incredible. But the match was great. The match... Um, all of all of the things they did in it, the storytelling, the athleticism, the the moments, everything was there. It was it was honestly an incredible match to watch, and incredible, and just what you would what you would expect, but I think really above expectations for either one of these women. But it was a six star match. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the kickouts, the finishers, I thought. There was going to be some drama when Charlotte finally, because it took it, Charlotte never really hit the figure four. No, like it that wasn't one of those prolonged figure eight type things where Rhea's battling for her life. I thought there was some real heat there because Charlotte got her in the figure four, and then Rhea immediately grabbed the ropes. Yeah, like probably what was expected, but I was like. Charlotte, because you, I, I said it to you during the match. I don't know if Charlotte's ever happy or pissed at things. Yeah, no. Now, from what I'm reading, yeah, this is what Charlotte wanted. Right. Um, this is how she wanted to do business. Yep. Um, but the match had everything you could possibly want. The physicality. I mean, yeah. when Charlotte landed on her nose, the look on your face, you were just like, Yeah, I thought Charlotte you were was waiting dead. for her to move. <laughs> Once she moved, you kind of breathed. I was like, Charlotte's dead right now. But and then when. What's Rhea's finishing move called? The rip, the rip cord. Rip cord, rip tide. Rip tide. Rip I don't cord, know. Rip tide. I think is a water slide in Mountain Creek. <laughs> um, but when Charlotte kicked out of that, yeah. the look on Rhea's face was yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I mean, the match we wanted this Mania was Rhea Bianca. That's what. Yeah. That's kind of the clash we're waiting for. Mm -hmm. um, but this, this over delivered in every sense of the word. They stole the show. Um, yeah. They had that crowd at the edge of their seat for the last 10, 12 minutes of that match mm -hmm. with all the flurries of finishers and pins and, and everything that was going on. Um, phenomenal. Just absolutely loved it. So happy for Rhea. She, she's going to dominate. And, and the match now on SmackDown, yeah. which we'll talk about the future in the future, but Rhea Raquel. Oh boy! Is gonna rock out. I can't wait for that. That is, she's gonna win Money in the Bank. Spoiler, okay. And it's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. 
I that that I can't wait for. Um, big fan <clears throat> of Raquel Rodriguez. Cannot wait for her to to truly like. <coughs> Can I pull water. back the curtain a second? The last time we did this, it was thirty three degrees and I was freezing. It was today. It's humid and I'm sweating profusely. Uh, yeah, we are. It's a little warm out here. We're sponsored by. No, we're not. But we have water. That's what we're drinking. Hydration today. is key. Um, okay. We're now we have on the card. Okay, on the card we oh. have one more match to talk about. But we got a nice surprise <laughs> tonight. Bears boy. Oh my goodness! I was like. Miz and Snoop are standing in the middle of the ring, and Snoop's like, man, I wish you had a match. And and Miz talks about how he put out an open challenge on MySpace, which is why nobody found it, obviously. But he put out an open challenge on MySpace, and nobody answered it. And then the music hits, and I see the logo behind Cole, and Cole's going, wait a second. <laughs> Whether or not Cole actually knew this time, I don't know. I hope not. I hope not either. But then out walks Pat McAfee, and we're going to get The Miz versus Pat McAfee um, with an assist from George Kittle. George Kittle? Is that George, George Kittle. George Kittle? I, football. Tight end, 49ers. There we go. Football with an assist from George Kittle. Uh, from football. <laughs> I thought that this was, honestly, that's that was the perfect match to put. That was the perfect thing to do yeah. between... Rhea and Charlotte and the main event. Yes. Because emotions in Rhea and Charlotte at the end, you are so like the the emotion roller coasters. You're, yes. you're here. And it's like, let's bring you back down mm-hmm. with some fun and love Pat Mac Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee, please, please come back to SmackDown. Please come back to SmackDown. Yes. I just want to listen to you every single week. Um and then to get that and then the main event, like the emotion again, just taking you high. So this was awesome. Loved it. Yeah. Thought it was the perfect thing to do. Um, I, I can't really add anything to that. I completely agree. Um, it was the best possible solution in between the two matches. Yeah. Because could the fans have stayed there? And shout out to the fans out in L.A. They were hot the entire night. Yep. Um, but to be up that high yeah. of adrenaline off the Rhea victory to then immediately have to transition to the next match, the main event. Right. Um, this was perfect. Everyone had a good time with it. Pat McAfee is tremendous. Yes. Um, he should be there every week. He's not. He's probably not going to be. It's disappointing. Makes but to get sense. him in moments like this and Michael Cole just selling the hell out of it, that yeah. he's not there. Maybe he really doesn't know that Pat McAfee. And if so, it makes it even more genuine and Absolutely. their relationship. So I can't wait. I loved it. I'm hoping that this means that we're going to get Pat sitting at the announce table tomorrow with, and you know what, with Wade Barrett and Cole, because the rumble, or no, not with Wade Barrett, with Corey with, Graves, with Corey Graves and Cole, because the rumble with the was three a lot of, of fun, was a lot of fun, yeah, because Corey Graves can just play exact yeah. opposite of Pat all night, and it just makes it a ton of fun, and Cole's just stuck in the middle of these two, so hope that we get Pat McAfee on the mic tomorrow night, but. With that being said, the main event, main event time, <sighs> Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens versus the Usos, undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. We have been building to this for 12 months and not saying that they knew 12 months ago that this is where we would no, be. They did not. But everything that has been done in the past 12 months has led to this moment. Yes. So, you go ahead. The match was terrific. I mean, several times I looked at you go, are they going to end it here? Because it was a complete and total ass whooping. Yes. Like, the Usos were destroying KO and Sammy. Yep. And I was like, oh, my God. They hit the 1D. They were just super, the overuse of the super kick. Um, just everyone got a super kick. Yep. And it was just a be smudgering? I don't know what the word is. The <laughs> there was a tag team, Eric Ibar and someone. They, what were they called? The the Bludgeon Brothers. The Bludgeon Brothers. It was a bludgeoning. Oh, that was yeah. No, no, no. That was that's not that's not Eric and Ibar. Those are the Viking Raiders. No, who's the, the Eric Beard? The Red Eric Beard. Redbeard. Yo, and, whatever. And Brody. Listen. And Brody Lee. 
it's 105 in the it's morning. One, it's it's late. Like we've been watching, and we oh. watched a lot of wrestling today. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yes, but it was a bludgeoning. Brothers. It was a bludgeoning at the beginning, and then to see them come back and come back and come back, and then at some point the four of them are standing there, and KO just kind of looks at Sam and goes, "Let's finish this," and yep. then they kind of go into the finish. Yep. And then we get the three Haluva kicks. Yep. On Jay to end it, where he's pinning Jay, which is very befitting. Yeah. Um, that that's how it ended, and everyone got to go home happy, and yeah. Now this all leads into tomorrow night. Yes, and. The match was was perfect. It was it was perfectly done, exactly what it needed to be. I think the reason, this is why I love the match so much. You have the Usos, who are a very storied tag team in the WWE. We're not talking about outside of the WWE what people have done together. We're talking about in the WWE. They're a very storied tag team. They are, and they're legitimately twins. So they, you know, they get to play the whole. We know how each other thinks. We know, da da da. Mm -hmm. Versus Sammy and KO's first tag team match. I mean, I'm sure they've ta they've tagged together in the WWE before. They've never won the tag. This is their first time winning tag titles in the WWE. They haven't tagged together in at least a year. This is their first match. So you think about it. The, the way they did the match makes so much sense because it's like the Usos who are this veteran tag team taking on a rookie tag team, even though it's two incredible vets of the, you know, in, in the WWE. And so they're just taking advantage of the fact that Sammy and KO don't tag together. And, and that's why the match played out the way that I think it did. Because I was even like, wow, they did a hot tag really early in the match for KO and Sammy. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, is this going to be the end of the match? Like, and it wasn't. And then it went into once the Usos got control back, they controlled the match from the from pretty much until the end, until that moment where all four are standing in the ring. But it was perfectly done. I thought everything was was incredible. The, 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 the builds, the comebacks, the teardowns, everything. And then the win. It's Sammy and KO have finished this story. Now it's time for Cody to finish the other story. Yeah. So I think that it's exactly what needed to be done. It was the right thing to be done. I loved it. We get the feel good moment at the end of tonight. But now the question is predictions for tomorrow night. And let's just wrap up this, this whole episode on this prediction for tomorrow night. Um, we let, and and let's let's just talk about kind of yeah. Let's just go through and give our our, our quick predictions. We're gonna talk. We're gonna see what happens tomorrow. We're gonna talk about it for the whole night. card or just the main event. For just the main event, let's just talk about the main event. I, we can go through the whole card if you want to. I don't know. You tell me. I, we're kind of. I don't winging. know. We're winging this yeah, year. We so. are. Um, all right. We'll do the main event. Yeah. Because we're, we're slurring words <laughs> at 109 in the morning. Her, her, her. Um, I can see Roman winning tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I could. Yeah. Them losing the tag titles, although I believed it to be true that they were going to lose. Mm -hmm. um, are they going to completely strip the bloodline of all the titles in one weekend? I'm having a hard time believing that at this moment. Um, I, if they do, then I think they're going yeah. full, like, in-house fighting, and, and there's right. going to be a lot of conflict, or maybe they do go away and they come back, or there might be some drama between Jay and Jimmy. Mm -hmm. um, but part of me is like, I think Roman's going to win, yeah. and the story's going to continue where he's going to hold this over their heads. Yeah. Um for the foreseeable future until there is an actual turn mm -hmm. from either Jimmy or Jay on Roman, um, which is why I think Roman's going to win. So I'm saying Roman's going to win because they're going to, he's going to use this as the yeah kind of the final straw Agreed. that's going to cause one of them to turn on him right. in a key moment. So that's my prediction for tomorrow. I, I, I could definitely see what you're saying. However, 
being the optimist that I am and being the hopeful person that I want to be, I believe Cody's going to finish the story and I'm going to predict that Cody Rhodes wins the titles tomorrow, uh, wins the undisputed, t- the undisputed title tomorrow. The reason why is I do think that they're ready to, to, to kind of do the fall of the bloodline. I think I want to see them go away for a really long time. Like, I want to see them go away till like, rumble. Like, all of them get a nice long vacation. Heyman included. I love seeing Paul every week, but go away. Rebuild. Come back stronger. I want to see that happen. Um, and so I th- I am going to say unequivocally, Cody wins tomorrow. He dethrones the tribal chief. Um, we're celebrating Cody as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion on Monday Night Raw. Finish the story. We we you were you were brave enough to do this tonight. You've built these other guys. Roman doesn't need to carry this on his back anymore. Yeah. Prove it. That's what I want. And then I want Jay White to show up on Monday. I knew that's what <laughs> that that's it's always around him. I'm just saying. Listen, I want Jay White to show up tomorrow night, right that after will, Cody. Cody holds up the belt and that will take away if, if they're I could see if Roman wins and he stays with the belts. I could see someone coming out and being like, All right, that's the next foe for Roman. Right. Um but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I don't know. I've I, Before we wrap this up, I saw rumors today that Rocky's there. And so might be interesting and fun uh, a little is normally you get, you get the champ, right, at the yeah. end of WrestleMania is holding the belt in, in the ring and gets his moment. Cody's going to get his moment on Monday night as well. So – let Cody go up the ramp and hold the belts, and the pyro goes off, and Roman's laying in the okay. ring. And then Roman's just sitting there, dejected, nothing. Rock's music hits. Rocky comes out. You let the family down, and then we can start a battle for the head of the table. I don't – if you're going to keep Roman around, Roman, Roman doesn't need titles anymore. I agree. Let let all of them let Jay and Jimmy and if we can get the Rock in and solo fight Roman for the head of the table. You can go eight nine months on just that alone. So I would love to see that. I would love to see Switchblade Jay White show up. Um, but I don't get my hopes up for people showing up because then if it doesn't happen, I'll be disappointed. Um, but Jay White showing up would be. I'm just saying, Jay White showing up tomorrow or Monday. I might go through the roof. Literally. <laughs> I might literally go through. I the hope roof. your daughter's not sleeping. I hope she's not sleeping either because I'm. Because when Pat her. McAfee's music, there was a moment where I thought you were gonna bubble. I thought she. I thought I was gonna wake her up. Me, yeah. Heart, like I, yes. I was like, I'm. Oh. But with that being said, that is so. This video is coming out. Today, WrestleMania Sunday. So you'll see, you can watch this video, right? Like you're watching this video. If you're at this point in the video, you've already watched this video. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank you for that. And we all. thank you. Um, if you're at this point in the video, you're already watched this video. So this is WrestleMania Sunday. We'll have another video following WrestleMania Sunday. <laughs> it's late, okay? It like, is. Imagine, it's late. yeah, it's late. So we're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you for watching at WrestlePool, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the places. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things. Tell us how much you hate Logan Paul and how wrong we are about him. But just know that we're keyboard warriors, so we'll come back at you in the comments. Absolutely. And uh, wrestle on. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah.